why do we as humans search our entire lives to find that one person that we want to wake up to next to every morning? It's not like loving is easy because if it were, everyone would do it. It takes two individuals who are willing to learn, laugh, grow, argue, prepare, create, destroy, support, and most importantly, care for one another. The people who are willing to join their lives together are the strongest people that I know. Just look around you. We are surrounded by the toughest people I will ever meet in my entire lifetime, and that's all because of the love that we share for one another. Marriage is an incredibly unique experience. Together, we found a way to make a moment's decision last a lifetime. Allowing these two individuals to be together, even when they're apart. And to me, that's what love is. It's the unshakable bond that holds two people together. Love is accepting the morning breath and the bunny slippers, the long nights and the early mornings, the highs and the lows. When you have a love that is as special as the one that we are celebrating today, you must cherish it, nurture it, embrace it. Love that is strong, pure, and true. So let us enjoy the celebration of joining these two lives because while it may be only here for a moment, let your love last a lifetime. Jacob, my whole life I always wondered how do you know you want to spend the rest of your life with someone? Give your everything and more to another human being without sacrificing everything you are to yourself. Marriage always terrified me. And kids, they used to terrify me too. I remember though the first time I knew that I loved you. And I mean really and truly loved you. It was when you sent me a Snapchat of you and Tessa in the basement singing along to Beauty and the Beast one 4th of July weekend. It was one of the sweetest things I had ever seen and it had completely made my heart melt. It was then I knew I truly wanted you to be in my life for the rest of my life. And I'm standing here in front of you right now because I love what we've built together and what we've accomplished together. And if 2020 has shown me anything, it's that you are the one that I want to go through bad times with. But that's okay, because I want to marry you, love you, and be with you every day through every bump in the road, and even when the road is smooth. But I will be your rock when everything is falling apart. You and I will be able to look at each other and know that there isn't anything we can't make it through. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to marry you because it's cute, cuddly, and sweet. I want to marry you because it's real and hard work, and a lifetime of ups and downs is worth every second with you. And with that, I promise to always love you and always be there for you and Tessa Rose forever. So I, Renee, take you, Jacob, to be my wedded husband. Renee, I have been looking forward to the day I got to marry you for a long time. I know this wedding isn't the one we planned, but just standing here with you is already a dream come true. You are someone that from the first time I saw you and every day since has continuously surprised me, captivated me, and challenged me to be a better person. I have never met anyone like you and I cherish and will continue to cherish all you do for me every day, knowing that I get to call you my wife and stepmother of my daughter is something I never dreamed of happening will never be able to put into words to truly describe how much this means to me. I promise to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you, to frustrate and challenge you. I know if I am even half the husband, the wife you will be, we are only at the beginning of an eternity of happiness as soulmates and also as a family. I love you. I, Jacob, take you, Renee, to be my wedded wife. It's always in your mind, no one's going to be good enough for your little princess. Nobody. I met Jacob and I was like, he does all right. I like this guy. I couldn't ask for a better son-in-law. And I just, we just want to welcome you to our family. 
as I hope it will to us to your family. And no matter how many years go by, <laughs> you will always be my little princess. I love you, congratulations. I love you, Jake. To the beautiful couple. You're gonna spend the rest of your life learning about each other. And every now and then, things blow up. But the beauty of marriage is that you, if you pick the right person, and you both love each other, you'll always figure out a way to get through it. I always know Jacob's heart is rooted in compassion and empathy for his loved ones. And I know that if I ask Jacob for advice, he will be honest and authentic with his response. There's no sugarcoating it with this guy, and that's why we love him. Today, my family got a bit bigger. I gained a new sister in Renee, a relationship that I cannot wait to continue to grow, and I'm excited for the years to come. Renee, you are such an amazing person, an amazing friend, and I know you will be an amazing wife and stepmom to Tessa. Jacob, you are Renee's perfect match, and I'm so happy she, was, she found you at the most perfect time. I wish you both years of happiness. Partnership is more than standing here, side by side, exchanging looks full of love, full of pride. It's more than a ceremony which lasts just a while. It's a promise that's shared. It's an intimate smile. It's a personal bond that you know will not end. The knowledge that someone your love will defend. It's a vow of commitment, special and true. It's a hope and a dream of love and this for you.